We got word that his body was going to be flown in. So we watched the plane come in. We watched it land. And when it hit the ground, I truly felt he was home. Like I could feel all of that feeling of somebody being home. His body being brought off and with the American flag over it and him coming out of the bottom of the airplane um, just made all the reality. And um, I, don't, I really don't have words for it. And then um, the family comes in, and um, we have the memorial, and we all had the same connection. He's finally been found. We've done it. This is over. We weren't at war at the time. This kid, this child, was probably so happy to be in Hawaii, excited to do something for his family. And um, he was there. He sent this to his mother. Now we know he died in Pearl Harbor, but I don't think she ever believed that. I know she didn't because her mother didn't. Um, I think there was a lot of hope that he would come back. The first telegram that came through was he's missing then you know a year later it was we're sorry to inform you but your your son has been killed in action then another year later it was your son is in Pearl Harbor and he's gone I don't think she ever accepted it and my mother hearing these stories her whole life and myself hearing the stories it was just something we always knew we we had to do we had to finish the story and it just was so important that we had some kind of ending to this. So my sister called um, the Navy and she said, you know, we're gonna continue this journey. What do you guys have? They flew in, met us here in Palm Springs and, and then they handed us this book and they were flipping pages and they were showing us, okay, this is, the scene during Pearl Harbor, this red arrow here is where the USS Oklahoma was and he was a fireman and he was on the ship and the ship went down. Then she got to a part. She turned to the page and it was Everett's skull. I know there was many men that were lost and um, I know that there's other families out there that feel this. And for them, it's the same thing. It's not the war story. It's their brother or their father or their cousin or their uncle or their sister or their brother. And even though this stuff is so old, it's like yesterday to me. You know, this is my uncle. You might not get the answers you want or the way you think you're gonna get them. Um, but like I said, there are a lot of men, there's been a lot of men lost at war. Um, I, I hope that everybody sees a little bit of, of peace in this.